What's going on y'all? Today we are trying something new. We are going to try to do a catch and cook over a campfire. We're going to hope to catch some smallmouth. Who knows? We might end up with a red eye or two, but hopefully, <laughs> yeah, something, hopefully. anything. That's all we want. But we're going to get down here to the water and start fishing. We're just going to do blackened fish over the campfire in a cast iron skillet. So hopefully it will work out and we can teach y'all a little something. But it's a beautiful day here in Kentucky. It's the middle of May. Spring is finally here. Well, should be summer by now, usually, yeah. but it was in the Can't 30s at the mind. beginning of this week. So, oh well, what can you do? So, we're gonna get down here and start fishing. Hopefully, we can catch some fish. I am using a wacky rig finesse worm, and Derek is throwing a little Ned rig. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Got one? Oh yeah, good one. Nice. Woo, that's a good one. Get him on the bank. That's a good one. He's exactly what we were looking for. Man, that's a good fish. Good job. Thanks, babe. Honestly, he hit it like right there where those rocks were. Just, just right off the end of that? Yeah. yeah. That is a good fish. Good job. Oh, oh my gosh. That's not good on that game. I really hope that didn't mess that up. Yeah, it's scratched it. Scratched it up bad. Well. That stinks. I guess that's he what I get for having the... of those things. Oh, on his tail, yeah. His so... tail is fins. Yeah. Bite me. Good Ooh. one. Nice job. Thanks, babe. That was a good one. Heck yeah, it was. That's yeah, awesome. Congratulations. Now nah, you can just put him on the bank. Up where he's not going to flop in. It still works. Yeah, that's a really good one. Nice job, babe. Thanks. I honestly was pretty much beeping right there. <laughs> really? Roll this in real quick. It's on those rocks. <laughs> Wait, it's stuck. No, it's moving. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> You're crazy walking around here barefoot. Better than 
busting my booty with those shoes on. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Those rocks are slick. Yeah. Awesome. Right, Good fish. One. Yep. <laughs> Derek has skunked me. Like always. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like always. She caught a really nice smallmouth. He Definitely is... Definitely one of the better ones I've got out of the creek before. That's a good one. We haven't measured him, but I would say he's probably 16, 17 inches. He's a really good fish, but he is gonna be perfect for cooking up. And we kept on fishing. We weren't planning on keeping any other fish because those two fillets, that's plenty enough for doing a quick catch and cook video, but you know, you can catch as many as you want. It just depends. I kind of like to keep the smaller smallmouth out of creeks, you know, 12, 13 inch range, because those big spawners, they keep the population going. But and I feel like the smaller ones taste better. They're not so like They do chewy, taste better. I guess. Yeah, yeah, they have, yeah. yeah. have a better. Yeah, or grainy. Yeah, yeah, they have a better texture and flavor to them, honestly, I think. But we're going to swing over to another spot. It's a better area to build a fire and safer there's a lot of brush around at this spot so we want to be in the safest place we can and we'll probably be in the shade a little bit more there but y'all stick with us we're going to run over to this other spot get a fire going and then start the cooking process of this fish and we'll catch up with you when we get to the other spot Derek even said she's going to keep fishing while I'm doing that yeah, so a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> there might be more fish so oh well we'll see what happens congratulations thanks babe it's a good one <laughs> All right, so we just got over to this other spot. There's a really nice hole back here behind us. and Usually holds some pretty good smallies. Yep, and some Kentucky bass too. So yeah. Derek is going to do a little bit of fishing while I'm working on the fire and then also getting that fish filleted. So maybe Derek will catch one or two more and get that on video, hopefully. But I'm going to get started on this fire while she's fishing and we'll be cooking soon. I haven't had a single bite. Not a single bite? Nope. That's I think somebody's probably either fished it today or yesterday. Well, I guess they couldn't yesterday. Yeah. From the trash, it looks like there, there was. There's a little feller chasing it. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. On the wacky rig or ring? Ned ring. Yeah, I didn't bring your pole down. He chased it all the way up here. Alright, I'm just about to start filleting this fish. I'm just cutting these fillets off. Golly, she's full of eggs. Wow. <laughs> Babe, this fish is so full of eggs. Is it? Yeah. Looks like she's ate a crawdad. Skin them off of there. Yeah, big crawdad. Yeah. <laughs> they 
There we go. There's one skin, and then I'm just going to cut off the rib bones here. Do you think that would be a good catfish bait? That extra stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh huh. Anything like that, a catfish will enjoy. Sounds like we're going to go catfish fishing. Might have to. I'm gonna get these washed off and then we'll start seasoning them. Alright, so I'm just gonna take lemon juice, get them sprinkled up with that good. It adds a nice flavor. I'm sure as you all probably know. These are really nice fillets, so it's gonna be good. And then I'm just using, I can't really pronounce that, Zatarain's blackened season, it's a blackened fish season. Probably would have been smart to open it already. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna coat them pretty good in that. Pat it in there. And then flip it over. Do the other side. You can use any seasoning for this, it's just whatever your preference is. I like to get them pretty well coated. And the next step is just to get the uh, cast iron skillet on there, get it heated up, and then we'll start cooking. Alright, so I got the uh, logs, I just have the bigger logs here that are burning down. And I'm just going to set that skillet right on top and try to get it as level as possible. It's not perfect, but that's pretty close. So that's what we're gonna do. Give that a few minutes to heat up and then we're gonna slap the butter in there and then slap the fillets on. <laughs> Got a little greens in there. <laughs> yeah. Gonna flip this butter in. Gonna try to level this out a little bit. to add these fillets. This does not take long at all, but just let it go as long as you want to get that blackened crunchiness on there because that's when it's really good. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. <laughs> Alright, do you want to come over here and hold this plate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're ready to be taken off. We've had them on there for probably seven minutes. Yeah. This, one. this one's falling apart, but that's good. There we go. Bon appetit. You look good. Be a cold Mountain Dew with it either. Nectar of the gods. <laughs> That's personal opinion. <laughs> I like the Diet Cokes. I like blackened fish on a skillet in the house, but I don't need this. There's just something about catching it and being out here. I don't know. Yep. It makes your work for a little bit more and it tastes a little bit better. It does. Especially on a day as pretty as today. Mm-hmm. With a wife as good as you. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you can feed me during this <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about going hungry. <laughs> That's true. There you go. Let me finish that last piece off. Let's put it. That's all there is to it. All true. Yep. <laughs> we had an awesome day. Derek caught a really nice smallmouth and got to spend the whole day out on the creek. And it was a beautiful day. It was good to just get out. Yep. It's been nasty this week. It's been really nasty for the past like two weeks. We've been feeling cooped up. Because <laughs> we have been cooped up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring some more stuff at you. If you guys want to see any other catch and cook videos with any other species of fish or wild game, Anything. drop it in the comments. I'm going to try to do a gar video here soon, catch and cook the same way. So that should be pretty interesting. But y'all stick with us. We should be able to bring some more content out and try some new stuff together. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> A little baby possum just ran across the road in front of us. And of course, Derrica has to save him. <laughs> Look at him! And he's the cutest little, little thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's wrapping his tail around my face. Really? Yeah. Hey, let's Push walk him over him. here, away okay. from the road. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Look how cute. <laughs> just let him go. Cute. Stay away from the road, little bud. <laughs> That well, was tiny. I know. Why can't you have them as pets? <laughs> Buck would still get along with little possum. <laughs> well, we directed him away from the road. <laughs> little fella. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What a day. <laughs> <laughs>